Alright. So, I think I can wake until either today or tomorrow. And I finished farming on my soul stones yesterday and I was farming runes um, before I fell asleep. And I did not get a single 5 star rune. And it's really hard like, picking which rune to farm. Because I really want a 5 star crit chance rune. But slot 2 is like one of the busiest slots to get. Because there's um there's like 3 good runes to get from it. But there's also like 2 really bad. Like you can get accuracy or you can get defense I believe. I'm not sure you can get flat defense. But it's still like a busy busy rune to farm for. And when you want one specific rune it's really... It's really hard to get the right one. Now, let's check it out. We're at 65 for Stealth Elf. She's almost at level 70. Five more levels and we're done with her. Uh, Barbella, 51. Nine more levels and we're done. 37 and she's at level 40. So just 10 more levels. So we're getting really close to finishing off. The heroes that we need to finish. Did I just collect the energy? I wanted the gold. Yeah, so. Um, ready to guild invasion? I kind of wanted to use um, my. Cinder. And we got a element token to summon and I went with the safest choice um, I believe it's always fire and uh, magic because ember and spitfire are both really good nat fives and there's very few bad fire units and magic units there are very few bad units to get from those two so I just feel like it's the safest unit to pick for So yeah, now let's go into this, and uh, we have five more, and then I'm going to go into the stage. Did you see the, did you see the bug, or could you not watch the video? No, I don't want to do it on stream, because, um, uh, since you need to reset it, and I'm not sure if you need to, I'm not sure if you need to, like, back out. Like how I do it, like if you notice in the video how I did it the first time, I just minimized the app and then came back in it, but the game didn't um, reload. Because when I do that for friendly battles on the arena, it automatically reloads me. But when I tried it for the battle, it didn't reload me. So. I'm not sure if that'll work, and you know how when I'm live streaming, if I like if if Skylanders crashes or um yeah, so I'm if I make a video, I'll probably just use AZ to record it. Like Omelet Arcade, I prefer yeah, I prefer I prefer it for the live stream because of the overlay and everything. But if I make a video, I'll use a in the future. Since that one's easier and it, and it just upload it to YouTube. Though it's faster, like Omnet Arcade is faster to upload it and they help you like quickly. You can edit and do everything more efficiently but it uploads it to Omnet Arcade, not YouTube. So that's the only downside. But if you want me to try it, I'll try it right now since... Yeah, I'll try it right now. Since it won't really matter losing one day in Golden Invasion. 
But I kind of really wanted to like level up my Cinder so I could use her for Guild Invasion. But let's just try it out. Let's see what we can use for Guild Invasion since we're gonna back out anyways. Let's check it out. It's a light unit so everything is neutral. Alright, so I'll go use this gun. Everything is charged. Alright, let's go. So you go into it, um, you do poorly. You don't like it, you're like, oh man. This AI is so dumb, like I don't I don't know what I'm doing. And then you just go back out yeah you need to close the app unfortunately and then it just reload and it should be fine theoretically it should be fine if it works the same as um Yeah, because I had a bad connection, dude. That, that's why I had to close the app. Like, you saw Skylands glitched on me, right? I wasn't bugging or hacking or doing anything. The game, it did it by itself. Like, you know how I struggle? Like, my phone can't take the resources with Skylanders and streaming at the same time. That was the phone that did it. But theoretically, it should have worked. What I just, what just, what my phone just did on its own should have worked. And I should have another chance at Guild Invasion. Because it's not fair, like, how, why? Like, you know. It's not fair that my phone bugged out and then I lose my chance at Guild Invasion. And you know, I have connect connectivity issues too. So let's see if it actually worked or not. What do you mean? It is my phone. It's, it's not working properly. You've seen it crash multiple times on stream. This has happened like multiple times on stream. Like, I've never seen anybody doing a hack or glitch for Skylanders. That's wrong. You shouldn't do that. It gives you an unfair advantage versus other players that shouldn't uh, exist. What do you mean? So yeah, so I, I can challenge um, the thing again. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm going to try something off screen today. And then um, if you want to see that tomorrow, I can do that. But I actually want to try something off screen. Because I don't want to get in trouble with come to us or anything. Not that I'm going to do anything that would get me in trouble, but... I want to try something. Since I found out about this, I kind of want to try something. If you're not cheating, you're not trying. The great um, Vince Lombardi said that. If you're not cheating, you're not trying.
What do you mean? He was he won like sixteen championships in the NFL. The Super Bowl trophy is named after him. He's the winningest coach in the history of the NFL. Totally legal, totally, you know, very cool, very legal. Everyone has faith in Coach Vince Lombardi. So I think, I'm pretty sure I need like about 20, 20 soul stones to awaken my, um, uh, chill. So I'm really excited about that. And then I'll finally be able to six star her. And she just needs a slot f- four, I believe. She just needs slot four. And that's an easy slot to get. Once we get a, a five star room for there, we're gonna be we're gonna be good. And then I'll have my tank. And I just I really need to work on stealth elf on her runes, like. I need to get her a five star, uh, one, three, five, and six. Basically, all her runs need to be five star. So I kind of want to go for that today, and I'm gonna go for I want to go for slot two, cause I really want um the crit chance for my super shots off. Come on, sell. Okay. Oh. No, don't sell that. I think we're done with um, chill. What sucks though, on how you do it in arena is basically the same way. Like the way that I did it, you just back out and minimize. So you could even do it like before the battle starts, you could just back out. Like you don't have to waste your time fighting each other. You can just back out of the match and and it saves you so much time. Like you know how like after this loading screen um in arena like it shows you like your two characters about to battle whatever, like it shows you that that load screen when you're in that load screen you just back out and it already counts the match has started so you just back out of that and it should be quicker since you said your son doesn't care like if he wins or loses you could just do the that and back out from his and then um, once you finish loading in it tells, like, it automatically gives you the win, and then you back out. Somebody did that against me, um, and I didn't know what happened, like, oh, the first time that it happened to me, I was, I didn't know what happened because, like, I was loading in, uh, it was a person that had, that I had battled them um, two or three times in a row, uh, because nobody queues up for friendly battles, so me and him just kept queuing into each other, and I kept beating him. I beat him two times, and then the third time, he just saw me again, and then he backed out. Like, I'm assuming he backed out of the game entirely, and he stopped playing. But when I loaded in, like, it loaded the match up, and then it gave me the win automatically, because he wasn't queued in anymore. Like, he wasn't there. So that's how it's actually done, like, um, all you really need is for one person to back out, so if you and your son were to do that, you could just back out on your phone, on your son, like, your son could back out, and then you get the win automatically, and it just helps you do it much faster. (laughs) 
We got six defense Omni Stones right there. And I'm not sure if I can get a hundred, um, if I have a hundred points in Arena. Since the Arena bug, I haven't been really playing Arena because, um, I have to go up against like level 40s in Bronze and that's really not fun. So we're done with this. She gained a level, that's nice. We got three of those. Let's see it. We have 16. So we got four, four soul stones. Which, you know, we used to get six. So that's a two soul stone drop. And we high rolled on one where we got six, which was one and a half soul stones. So it's not, you know, it's still not the best, but I don't know. To be honest, I prefer the old method. Um, the guaranteed soul stones are nice. Yeah, it's because the defense, everybody's losing on defense. Because, like, strong players can just, uh, be anybody. Like, once you get, if you focus on arena, once you get arena heroes, like, maxed out, like, you can just be anybody, so that's why arena right now is, is, we need seven. We need seven soul spawns, dude. Seven is... Is there a way for me to get seven soul stones? Let me see. Let me see arena. We need four more. Yeah, so I can get I can get a couple more from that. Oh, you look at this, dude. Uh, 36, 43, 26, 32, and the, these guys are all, uh, um, 950 points. And then, look, I refresh, and if you notice how many points, I was at 950 in that range, and if you look at my points, um, I'm at 889 points. So I've dropped so many points and now I'm in the range where I'm battling against the level 2 players, like the people that just joined the game, the, they're at the 800, 800 mark-ish and they have to battle against my team. Like you see this? Well, I mean, I left level 1 heroes on my defense. Because it's pointless right now to try and defend. Since they're going to beat me anyways, I'd rather people just beat me easily so I can just fall. And not struggle being up against these high level players. Yeah, because it's pointless like being... Being in at a higher range right now because everybody... Like, dude, the top players are in gold. Like, the number one arena player was in gold tier. And he's not getting up in ranks because you have five gears per hour. But more than five people can attack you in that amount of time. And you see the list? There's, like, ten people on our list. I'm assuming... Uh, the higher in arena you go, it's still gonna be like 10, 10 people on the list. So it's basically just, um, it's basically just, it's basically just like, how are, how are we going to compete if the best, the best players on the server are in guild rank? 
I mean, gold rank. Like, we can't, we can't compete with that if, like, right now everybody is losing on defense. So I'm not gonna bother defending that. I'd rather just take the fall and then bully the people that can't bully me. And like this, I'm getting guaranteed um, wins. Which I'd rather get the guaranteed wins to get my um, my guild arena points, whatever, so I can make my purchases. Like it would matter if it was like um, what is it? If I could get to master rank where each win is twenty five points, then it would matter. But just like for an extra five points or like that. Per win, it doesn't really make a difference. And then I get frustrated. That's why I haven't been doing arenas much before. I would try nogging every like two or three hours and try and get my gears down. Since winning like against people similar level to you is pretty easy. All you do is double target with your two of your heroes and then you target one of their heroes and then you basically take them out and then it's three on two but like since the update like people with like high runes on their buckshot and robo and those kind of arena focus like people they come in and they one shot my heroes before I even the AI one shots my heroes before I'm even able to attack them. So I kind of didn't I didn't like that, so that's why I stopped defending. Look, we're going up against um Harry Potter. I didn't know uh, Harry Potter played Skylanders. Well, he's kind of a scrub. Well, that's pretty cool. And as you can see, I'm just climbing up, getting my five gears used up, five wins, 25 points. And I didn't struggle against anybody. Guaranteed wins. And by the end of the week, we're probably going to end up at the same rank anyways. So, come to us kind of like messed up heavily in Arena. Um, like, a lot the, the ticket compensations for me, like, it's, it's whatever. I kind of don't like the... I don't like the, the purple tickets because... Um, you're guaranteed five only. Dude, that's what I wanted to do. Like, I'm not even sure about that either. Because when I started off, I wanted to pick the girl. But then I was like, you know what? I'll pick the boy. Because I thought it was like a story mode adventure or something. Like, I didn't know that was supposed to be your character design when I started. So I'm kind of disappointed because... I usually play girl characters when I start playing it because I like to, I like to like, I don't know, I don't like watching boy characters all the time. So I'm kind of disappointed. I'm pretty sure you're stuck with it. I've never seen anybody change it. So I'm kind of jealous because, um, Cal. He picked the girl character. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna pick the girl character. And I'm like, son of a gun. So we're stuck with the boy character, which is a huge disappointment. He looks ugly as well. Like, white skin. Like, I just clicked through it. I was like, I don't care. 99% of the time, I don't read through things. Come on, man. They should have been like, this is your character design. Yeah. And now we're stuck with it. 
I've looked through the settings, but like I clicked on my profile picture and I've clicked through a bunch of like the settings and I, I didn't find anything to change it. But in EU, um, loot boxes are getting taken out. Companies can't do loot boxes anymore. So, I don't know how they're gonna implement, like, stuff like that. And in the United States, supposedly, they're trying to do the same thing, but it's gonna be harder to pass here because uh, Republicans control our Senate. And Democrats can so it's kind of like right now new laws aren't really getting passed unless it's like something both parties agree on which is extremely rare for both parties to agree to something. Come on, why is it lagging here? I want my rare on the stones. Are you serious? I don't know. Alright, here we go. I know they're gonna have to change it. That's why they're saying like a lot of games are gonna get removed from the Play Store. Because they're all freemium, like they have... Yeah, so I don't know what's gonna happen to be honest. I, I'm okay with. I'm okay with um like skins being added to games because skins don't really like if the skin is purely cosmetic, not the way that Castle Crash does it. But like, if the skin is purely cosmetic and doesn't add stats to the characters, I'm fine with that. Okay, so we need four more. So let's see if we can find... I know there's another defense, right? Like, we could reset that for 60, but... I have 80 gems right now, so I don't really want to waste my gems. I believe there's another one. Yeah, that's um support. Come on, dude! Why is it lagging? Ugh. Attack, so I believe six, right? Six should be defense again. Right, defense. Uh, but I have to go through all of them? Nah, I don't want to do that. Yeah, because I just beat the first stage. I don't want to go through each stage. I could probably, but I believe this stage has Omni Stones. Yeah, so I'll do this stage. Lucky, and then we just need to get, um... We'll just need to get one win, one Soul Stone drop, and... And the... Scenario stage, which could take 10 runs or it could be one run. Or somebody could add me to their chill dungeon. Let's see if anybody has chill. No. 
but yesterday when I got those seven soul stone drops, it was on a water um, dungeon, which I noticed that water for me, even though I have um, fire units, and it says water units gain the elemental advantage in it, um, in wa water dungeons, I actually do better than in like any other dungeon. I don't know why, to be honest. Um, I went in two water dungeons in a row, like two gopher dungeons in a row, that were water elemental advantage, where they gain like the fifty percent stat boost, and I actually beat both of them like five hundred points. I beat both of the water dungeons. And then I went into somebody, uh, I asked somebody to add me to their chill dungeon. And the chill was also a water dungeon. And I beat it. Uh, that's when I got the 700 score. So I don't know, maybe because of my stealth elf and my super shot stealth elf. Since they have like um, advantage against water. Like maybe the boss has that element or, or something. I don't know. But I beat both water dungeons, like Gopher water dungeons, I beat both. And then I beat, um, I beat the, the chill dungeon and I got seven chill soul stones. And it was also a water dungeon. So I'll show you right now, like, I'll go up against a Gopher that has, um, a water element. And you'll see that I'll get like almost 500 points if not like beating it. Yeah, that was crazy, dude. I wasn't even expecting it. Like I was just doing my normal, like my normal run. Like I usually start it off and then I go do something else. Like I, when I'm playing Skylanders. I'll start it off and then I I go AFK like I don't really focus too much on the game and it was crazy that I came back and I was at 700 points I was like what's going on so now we need two man we need two soul stones uh, we could go into the boomer scenario and get boomer soul stones and um we could probably reach um stage seven but that's in normal like this is normal and i would have to use my stealth elf chill and super shot stealth elf to probably beat it through and we're gonna struggle with it like i don't know I don't know how easy it'll be to... Let's see if we can find more defense. Normal should probably be defense, right? No. Hard? Is that one? And I don't believe I... Wait, easy? Yeah, let's do this one then. Yeah, we could do that one. Perfect. Should be easy, right? Yeah, let's do it. And we get 10 guaranteed um, Omni, whatever. And then um, for the final one, we get guaranteed um, blue Omni stones, which you can use for igniter. Or yeah, since we're we're already gonna be um. We're already gonna awaken chill, and it's not a priority to rush chill, um, to six star. But we could use them on either or, um, chill or igniter. The reason, like, I switch between Chompy Mage and Gopher because I feel like they're so, like, Both of them are good, um, but what I'm noticing is that the stronger my heroes are, um, 
Chompy Mage isn't really heating them up as much anymore. Like, my Kaboom doesn't get, like, fully healed up from Chompy Mage. And that kind of becomes an issue in certain scenarios where he gets low health. Like, if you were, remember when I was doing, like, 8F on the Poison Dungeon? Like, he was taking a lot of damage and Chompy Mage wasn't healing him back up. That's the reason why I used, um, that's the reason why I used, um, uh, Goper, because Goper was taking all the aggro away from them, and basically dying, and then that, that was keeping, uh, my Kaboom alive better than Chompy Mage. Because Chompy Mage was not even healing him up to halfway. And, now, and since they they, you know, they ignore um, Chompy Mage sometimes, even though he does have is the grass element, um, they'll sometimes ignore him and go for like your damage dealer or whatever. And I didn't, like, that was making me lose. Um, I lost twice because of Chompy Mage. Then I tried it with... Uh, Goper, and I actually managed to beat it at the one star, and then we three starred it. So we need four of these, right? It's four to make, um, it's four to make one. And then, um, I think it's funny how I'd rather do this, go through these easy dungeons, which I believe have like level 53 units, then go through the boomer scenarios, and get boomer soul stones, because, well, I mean, I don't really, I don't know, you could get a 4 star fatal run, but 4 star runs aren't really what I'm trying to get right now. Is it just one per each commando? I know you can get like four. Like they're holding out on us right here. There's a poison and there's a grass and there's a light. So we should we should be fine for these um scenarios. There's poison, so Kaboom just goes in, does his skill, and they're gonna take a boatload of damage. And they're gonna focus on stealth health. Oh if Copper wasn't there, they would have focused on her. But just, do you see how easy it is? Oh, that's crazy. Man, I really hate that. Like, Kaboom is taking, like, serious damage. And, like, that's, that's what's starting to happen. Kaboom takes, like, a lot of damage. And, like, Chompy Mage doesn't heal him. Doesn't heal enough. She does heal like my stealth health and my super shot. She does heal them up enough. But Kaboom just has more HP. And so does, um. Uh, so does Chill. Like, my Chill has so much HP that Chompy Me doesn't heal Chill up to more than halfway. Like, she only. Chompy Me only heals, um, Chill. Like a quarter of his health. Which sometimes like that's enough. But other times like she'll die. Like she'll be like in the red. And barely be be alive. And then she just dies. Because Chumpy Mage just doesn't heal enough. Yeah so these are pretty easy.
What stage are we on? Can you see from here? Because I stopped paying attention. Uh, I don't think we can see from here. But we almost have the first stones necessary to awaken our chill. Dude, I have like of the worst memory ever. Like when I'm um doing like what is it when I when I was putting in the codes when I have to put it you know on my gamers where you have to um put in your ID I literally screenshot my ID because I'm not gonna bother remembering the numbers. Like, I'm putting, like, I copy-paste, like, the code, and then I take a screenshot of my ID, and then I'll log into the game. I mean, I'll log into WeGamers, like, look at my code, put in the first three numbers, forget the rest, and then look at it again, and then put in the rest of the code. I think we need one more. If we get two on this next one, I think we... We have enough um, Omni Stones to get chill. We actually don't we need one more um, from our chill scenario. I think we have one more guaranteed chill drop, right? Wait, let me go check the chill drop because I know for a fact, uh, we, I believe we had one left. And then you made me try Guild Invasion. I totally upload. Come on, man. Hurry up. Alright, here we go. Yeah, we're on stage 5, so we need two more right here. Um, I got the legendary event hero card for my new smurf. Just to get the legendary. Come on, I know there was one. Come on. Yes! So I think we have enough, actually. No, because I'm going to try something off camera. I want to try something. And I want to see if it'll work. Because I don't know if it'll work or not. So I just want to see if it'll work, and then um, and then if it does work, I'll do it tomorrow on stream if you want to see it. But I just want to try out my Cinder and see how she does in there. Um, I do need effect accuracy runes though, cause I believe her accuracy is like sixty percent. I believe her effect accuracy is 60% or somewhere. It's really low. <clears throat> you know, I, I like to believe in what my coaches say. And one of the most famous coaches ever, he, he, he said, uh, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. And I believe he also said, uh, it's only cheating if you get caught. So technically, I'm not doing anything wrong. Which I'm not even going to do anything wrong to begin with, so I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's what I want to do, because, I mean, that's what the pay-to-play players do anyways, right? This is their hack, which somebody mentioned, like, online, and I just uh, wanted to test it out, and it works. So, whether they do it or not, that's up to them, but, I mean, they've been doing it, that's how they know all of, like, oh, this guy's good, this guy's not good, 
because they can do infinite runs um they they like to keep these things bottled up so they don't escape their like top guild communities and if you notice even in castle clash like in jt's chat um airplane mode you're not allowed to talk about it and you're not allowed to talk about sending and trading accounts, which in general is just a bad idea. But you're not allowed to talk about that either. Like, there's so many things that um, they keep bottled down, so you don't know. Like, you don't know about it. Um, should we save the... I'll save one Omnistone. I'll save, I mean, I'll save a pair. Yes! Huzzah! Check it out. Awaken. Oh man, I need gold. I heard a rumor that um, you could still do it on Android. But it's more complicated, and I'm not exactly sure how it's done. But I heard that um, it can still be done on Android. Yeah, it's still super like on iOS. It's still super super prevalent. Yeah, but my chill. Uh, what runes does your chill have, and what's her star rating? Cause my chill's already decked out and she's pretty looking good already. I just need to get her six star and she's ready to go for eight F. And so is my stealth elf and my super shot just needs three more levels, and she looks pretty good to go for eight F as well. So my my 8F team is looking like it's ready to roll out. I just need those crit runes uh, for Super Shot Stealth Elf and for my regular Stealth Elf. But I really, really want the 5 star crit rune for Super Shot. Because if I can get her crit rate up to like 90, uh, just 10 more percent. She'll be at 90% crit rate. And if we get lucky with the with the drops. If we get lucky with the drops. Um like with the substats on other runes, like if we get a slot one with crit rate crit rate, she could have a hundred percent crit rate. So just like if the only way she won't crit is if um, they have the block percentage and all that. But if she has her 100% crit rate, it would only be 100% on her second skill though. It's not going to be 100% um, crit rate overall. It'll just be, I think it'll be... Um, like 60 70 percent I think it'll be 70 percent on her first skill and a hundred percent on her second skill but that's not bad having 70 percent um, crit rate on her first skill and then the 100 percent crit rate on her second skill Which will be nice. Since I usually, uh, when I use Super Shot, I usually um, spam her first skill right off the bat. Just to get it, like just to get her to shoot it. And then I charge it up. I charge her up. And that's literally the only thing I do manually if I do use um, Super Shot. Because um, the AI loves to not use charge skills. Like if they do use them, they'll just leave them like fully charged up, and that really annoys me. Let's 
so that's that's why um I sometimes manually do super shot so we should be good to go now I'll awaken my chill right now after I get this last run out for the gold dungeon and we have awakened the five star chill with five star runes except slot four which I think she does have HP in that slot that's why I'm not in a hurry to change it and I believe it's a premium rune so it's not a bad like four star rune it's all right but you know we could we could give her a five star rune but for now I'm farming um slot slot two So once we awaken to I'm gonna end the stream. Look at that. Boom. I kind of find it funny how they still attack even after the boss dies. Sixty thousand gold. That's pretty nice, to be honest. But yeah, there are so many bugs right now when Skylanders like come to us. Um. Did a lot of good changes uh, for free to play, but then they went and messed up a lot of the code for so many game modes. Though the guild, like that, um, guild invasion thing, like that's been going on since the beginning of the game. Like, uh, they, they haven't addressed it, and the players found out, found out about it. They asked them. And they said that it wasn't a bug, that it's uh, like a fallacy for people who have bad connectivity. Like, um, they don't want to punish players that have um, weak connections. So it's kind of like, you know, double it's hard for, for come to us. Because if they take it, take it away, then like, People with bad connections get punished. You see this? Boom. Let's go. Come on. She gains like 400 HP from this. Yeah, she gains 378 HP and 71 defense and 138 attack. What I really like though is that she gains almost yeah, dude. And I actually awakened my boomer by Friday, I believe. I'm trying to take a screenshot, it's not letting me. So we'll just see that there. Uh... <clears throat> Let's see her actual stats because this these aren't her actual stats, and it's really confusing. Yeah, so now she has six thousand five hundred and fifty-five HP. 
She has nearly 2,000 attack? I mean, she has half the attack of, um... Kaboom. Um, let's see my super shot. Cause super shot doesn't have... Yeah, dude. See that? She has almost as much attack as super shot south of. Cause my super, super shot is more like of a crit. Like when she crits, she does more damage. Then when she does her basic attack, basically, um, if she doesn't crit, she doesn't really have that much damage. But yeah, my chill's looking pretty nice, to be honest. And she's level 52 already, she's almost at level 60. Once I finish up with all of these, like, Barbella, Hex, and Stealth of all of these units... And this is what I like about the event, like, they're making us focus on Stealth Elf, which is a unit that you should have been focusing on, like, from the beginning, because, um, she's gonna help you beat, uh, B8. Dude, her runs, I really want I really want to get her a 5 star crit run so badly, but just slot 2 is really hard to to get the right run. That little star, Sarah's favorite? I don't know. Barbella though is really more of a counter to gear shift. The reason why um, gear shift isn't being used, the reason gear shift isn't being used in arena and anywhere, like high level play, uh, for PvP is because it's because the, the scenario was bugged, but um, now that and I think Barbella scenario was bugged for. The drop rate, but now that they fix the drop rate, you're gonna start seeing her. Um, the reason Barbella is so good is because she counters. She counters um. Crits. And it, and Durant turn Durant's passive, but basically like anybody that tries to crit. She counters it. And her counter attack when blocking an enemy's attack. Basically she counters gear shift so hard. Because gear shift is, um, what is it? Uh, mech? And earth and life beat mechs, so... That's why um, everybody's really high on Barbella, and she's actually a pretty good unit, especially for, like, Arena. If she blocks, like, if you build her right, she'll block, like, a lot of the units. She's basically, like, Crusher. That's the reason why Crusher um, was so good before the, like, they rotated him out of the scenario, so we can't farm him anymore. But that's one of the reasons why I was farming Crusher, because... Basically, Crusher countered Boomer, and you have to look at it, like, as a counter. Like, the way you're seeing it is, like, you're seeing it very short-term, but you're not seeing the long-term. Like, you didn't even want to farm the Soul Stones for most of the heroes because you're, like, it's going to take too long to farm up the the soul stones and awaken them and do all of that stuff yeah but it's not really a waste though like the way that you were doing the exp dungeons that was a waste because in the long term like you're gonna cap your units out and you're free to play so you're you're not gonna be like able to power them up like your Stormblade and all of those other units, like you're not gonna be able to six star and awaken 
and do all of that to Stormblade as quickly as a pay to play player. But these units that you are able to farm, like my Kaboom is already 6 star and Awaken, Chill 5 star Awaken, um, Stealth Elf 6 star, I'm not gonna Awaken her, but I could Awaken her if I wanted to, like I could be farming her Soul Stones but I don't want to, like Cinder Awakened, um, Boomer, Boomer is 5 star and I'm gonna Awaken him in like 2 or 3 days. What does he need, expert? Yeah, so we could awaken him in two or three days. And then we just need to get him up. And he's basically already set up. Like, all of the units that I'm focusing on, like Crypt King. Crypt King. Uh, I think I can power him up. I just need the elixir. Yeah. So you see, I already have, like, he's already going to be, like, plus five. 5 star like these units are already going into 5 star uh, powered up already and they're like level 50 level 40 like I'm still gonna be farming experience just not as fast as doing the experience dungeon which before used to give like 2000 experience but you weren't getting soul stones so that, that's a waste, like in my opinion, like doing it for experience for free to play is a waste because um, we don't need experience, we need the soul stones. Like look at my, look at my Kaboom, level 65, 6 star, Awaken. Like you see my main units, level 60, 6, 2 of them are 6 star, and Ember is five star because I can't awaken her or do anything to her but if you notice the other units that I can do things to like awakened 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 and look at the units that I can't do anything Spitfire like Spitfire I'm gonna pick from my 50 from my 20 point higher and I'm also gonna pick him from the the um elon's guide so once i do pick him i need to start working on him but i'm currently like focusing on elon's guide anyways but you can see like i can four star my igniter already like these are units that I can work on. Boomer. Like these are units that can be upgraded. And Barbella as well. Barbella they give us enough to um to f six star her I believe. I don't know about Awaken. Besides world, what? Uh, I actually like all three to be honest. Hex has the freeze ability, and he was building her already, and I kind of agreed with him on Hex because when you awaken her, she has the freeze ability, and she's a like she, I believe she has three or four debuffs by herself and with her passive, I think she has three debuffs by herself and her passive is if um the enemy has four debuffs, she like she does something, I forgot what it is, wait let me check. Her skill look, no that's her leader skill. Grants a shield for one turn when attacking an enemy with four or more debuffs. So, she casts effect down for one turn. And she casts diminish and heal down for one turn. 
And then when you, this is her first skill. When you awaken her, her first skill, diminish, heal down, and freeze for one turn. So basically, on her own, she can get um her passive up, grant a shield. And if you look at it, Well, yeah, but um, you still need to build them in the future. Like, in a year from now, you're going to need all of your units. Like, there's going to be a uh, guild invasion. I mean, there's not guild invasion. Guild wars. And you'll need, like, all your units. Like, it's better, to, like, for free-to-play. Like, farming your soul stones is, I think, more important. Because... Oh yeah, but you're still thinking of it short term. Like, sure you'll get there faster to be 10, but then you're still not going to have the gold. You're not going to have the resources to, like, max your units out. And the energy as well, like, it uses up more energy. Um, because I believe, like, the stages, um... Rune stages don't really give out much experience or um, gold. So that's why I don't, like, I don't know, in the beginning, I don't think it's really worth it to to do any of the, like, the rune farming or the experience farming. Because you really need gold, dude. Like, gold is a struggle to get. The only way, the only place that you can actually get decent gold is in the... The scenario that gives you gold, cave of gold, whatever, but everywhere else there's no gold. Like, that's what they need to address the issue, in my opinion. Like, experience is fine. Like, we don't need experience, in my opinion. Well, I mean, I, Elixir and the rune stages are the same, they give the same amount of gold and experience. So it's basically the same thing in my opinion. Like I try my hardest to do the bare minimum for those stages. But yeah, I'm really happy with um chill. And I believe yeah. I'm not gonna take up her skill to um uh, max. I might in the future, like once we get more skill stones, she's a priority for my skill stone upgrades. But for now, I believe I'm going to upgrade his skill. Yeah, but I tried to do the bare minimum for Elixir. Like, if you noticed on um, my video that for, um, Igniter? No, not for Igniter, for Cinder. If you notice on my video for Cinder, I literally went through the entire, um, all the scenarios, like for the Elixir, and I literally had just enough Elixir to upgrade her, and I was actually short gold, like 10,000 gold. So I'm going to actually scale up my igniter. What event? Oh, I just need nine levels on Barbella. Um, I just need to finish Hex and Whirlwind and five levels on... Stealth Elf. I just need those four heroes. Five levels on Stealth Elf. Nine levels on Barbella. Hex is the farthest away. I believe she's 12 levels. Whirlwind is already level 40. So 10 levels for Whirlwind. Mm -hmm. But Hex, I mean, Stealth Elf is going to be the grind to get her to level 70. But it's well worth it. 
And she's at level 70. She's going to really help out for B8. And that's when you can start farming like good runes. B8 has the 6 star drop. Like you can get 6 star runes from B8. And that's where... um, Like one of the tips that I heard that's actually really good. Is look for runes that have accuracy as a substat. Yeah man. Who would have thought... um. Working on Stealth Out from the beginning was a good idea. I don't know if anybody mentioned it to you, but whoever mentioned it to you was probably like a, a scrub anyways. And Stealth Out isn't really important or anything. It's not like Come to It gives you like 300 um, Stealth Out Soul Stones and is constantly pushing her as a unit that you should be using. And actually makes it uh, a whole dungeon dedicated to Stealth Elf and then um, Super Shot Stealth Elf. So you actually use the unit. Who would have thought? But anyways, I'm going to end the stream and uh, do some stuff. And uh, yeah. I don't think um, there's anything left for me to do today. Like to... Stream Castle Crash or anything. Tomorrow is Guild Wars. But Guild Wars is boring. You told me you don't want to see it. So I won't record Guild Wars. I'll just not get out in 10 minutes. So peace out. Um, I already did Lost Battlefield. So if you didn't see that, it's already up. And they did Ember Army. Um, no spoilers. Oh yeah, I'm Guild Invasion. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do off screen. Thanks for reminding me. So peace out. There we go.